but we've got an yep. email question already. Let's go ahead and go to that email question. My fiance was in a car wreck last month. He had to spend a week in ICU and a week in rehab. It took the police six weeks to complete yeah. the report. It basically states that the fault is undetermined due to lack of witnesses. How do we file a claim for medical expenses when fault is undetermined? And that's from Ashley, the fiance. And Larry, this is a, a prime example of why it's important to reach out to someone like us very quickly in an accident because there are times when there's gonna be issues where it could be a he said, she said, he said, he said, and it's important that you get out there and gather the evidence as soon as possible. There may be cameras, um, there may need issues that need to be downloaded on the vehicles while well, it's preserved quickly, um, because if you don't do that in a certain amount of time, sometimes that data can be lost. I, I just went through that very recently where the vehicle was not properly preserved after the accident and that information was no longer capable of being downloaded. Um, and you know, obviously, when you have a significant injury like that, it sounds like the, the fiance is in the ICU. Medical's got to come first. You got right, to take right. care. You, you got to you know take care of the household first. Um, but as soon as you get that on that path and get that medical uh, issues uh, addressed, you need to look get at it, getting yeah, professionals. Yeah, get, in you get place. them started. What we like to tell folks, Ted, is yeah. when you're involved in an accident, you know you take care of your family, you take care of yep. your health, you take care of yourself. Let us go do the investigation. Right. Let us worry about it. And like this case, Ashley, you know, it took six weeks for the uh, investigative agency, the police department, to con complete their investigation and found out it was undetermined. Well, by that period of time, many of the things that Ted and I look for are already right. gone. And the police aren't worried about fault. They're, they're, they're dealing right. with issues right, if right. they're going to be criminal liability or not. And if they've determined that it's not going to be a criminal homicide type case, then they're not worried about doing the going the extra mile because they've got other issues to deal with and quite frankly that's not their realm. That's what our, it's our responsibility from a civil standpoint to be able to establish fault and even if that crash report or report that the police generated had determined fault that would not be dispositive of the issue. That would not finally set it forth for the insurance companies. It would not be the final um, outcome because we can't even put that crash report into evidence. I was going to ask you, you know, so in Alabama, Georgia, Florida, right. the crash report, the accident report, the collision report, it is not evidence nope. in the case. We have to be able to prove the facts in front of a jury someday, if we were to go that far, that would show who was responsible for the accident. We can't rely on the police just to determine it. They are not judge, jury, and executioner. We have to do it via physical evidence, whether that be the actual vehicles themselves, the downloads, if there's cameras, witnesses, the actual vehicles themselves from the crash, the angles, um, what have you. We have to gather that evidence and be able to put it forth in a competent fashion that shows who bears responsibility. You settled a case this past week. Mm -hmm. uh, one of those yes. cases, had to deal with getting the precise information right. that we were looking for, a download from a vehicle. Right. What, what did you determine? First of all, what did the crash report say? Crash and then, report and then, and then what did we find? The it? crash report completely put fault 100% on our client. And, and quite frankly, the client was skeptical about even pursuing something, but he was a, uh, a gentleman similar to uh, Ashley's fiance that was in the hospital for several weeks and he did not have health insurance and he did not know what to do, but fortunately he had a family member that put him into contact with us and we went to gathering information and, and quite frankly, Larry, the first rocks we turned over were all negative. We were right. finding things that were not good, but we kept looking and we had our experts review the information and ultimately got that download that was critical that showed that the other party was traveling 22 miles per hour over the speed limit and made all the difference in the world. And now that gentleman is not only getting his medical bills taken care of, but he's being properly compensated for something that was not his fault. And not just the downloads, what else were we able to find in that case? We, we got the video, we got... Uh, well, from an from from, independent place. Yes, from an independent place that no one else had taken the time to go and get, but fortunately we went and got that and it was able to tell the full picture of the story um, because you can't, once again, you can't rely on the authorities, the, the cops to go and, and prove people, your case for you. And people ask, you know, yeah. well, that's what they're there for. The, not, the police not, are supposed to investigate the accidents. <laughs> And that's not entirely accurate. Is, is the, you know, they get certain information that they have to report to their state agencies, but they are not always conducting a full and complete investigation. And the reason why and it's is not their job. it's not their job. It's not their job because if you do that, I mean, they do that in the homicides. They Absolutely. do that when there's a fatality. I mean, but then you're waiting. Like mm -hmm. Ashley, you know, they may have been waiting, you know, because it was six weeks mm -hmm. to see how her fiance was doing. 
um, because they'll right. hold open an investigation until, to, until determining whether or not somebody is going to go fatal is what they say. Right. Somebody's going to pass away and then they open up a separate investigation and that investigation is very thorough, very Extreme. detailed, at least in the state of Florida. Yes. Alabama, it depends. It depends <laughs> on which agency is working it which up. Which jurisdiction you're in. In which jurisdiction, mm -hmm. that's correct. So, um, you know, there's a lot of things to go on here. So I guess the bottom line is, Ted? Always call somebody. The, the insurance company is going to have professionals working uh, for them from the moment go. you got to even the playing field or even make it a little uh, tilted your way right. by hiring somebody like us to make sure and thoroughly vet the claim. Look, information is power. You have to have the information in order to make an educated decision on what you and your family need to do to make it through a difficult situation that you would have never chosen to be in if you had uh, all uh, everything about you. So get someone to help you and make sure that you can make an educated decision on what you need to do.